We celebrate corruption in this country. And Buhari is the father of corruption who refused to obey court orders. Hello viewers, welcome to my Nobu channel. Now going around the whole Nigeria, you are going to find that, that there is different type of corruption. You are going to find that that APC government has brought nothing to this contraction but corruption, maiming, killing, raping, destroying of people's properties, destroying of people's houses, especially in Biafra land. And you have to agree with me that before this country was brought together, we, we are in our separate ways. Biafrans, we are living peacefully. The Duduwas, we are living peacefully. The Hausas, we are living peacefully. Even though they were infiltrated by Flanis that came from Sahara. As we speak right now, this contraction created by British government that we we are managing is no longer manageable because the Britain British government is adding the Buhari government to cause so many atrocities, the killing, the maiming, the raping by the soldiers, the massacre of innocent youth, several rape both in Baras and every other places in Nigeria. This is unacceptable to people like us. And this is why we are going to continue to say it until the day we have no other life to live. And God in heaven will determine that. People are busy celebrating corruption People are busy celebrating fake government in Nigeria. People are busy giving a war to the entity like Buhari who brought nothing in Nigeria but destruction, terrorism, killing, maiming, and so on and so forth. But you have refused to ask yourself a question. What is it good that this Buhari government has brought to Nigeria? We have a government of kidnappers in Nigeria. Buhari government is a government of kidnappers. Upon that, people are busy celebrating him. Upon that, people are giving him award. The question is, those giving him a word, why are they giving him a word? Buhari government has been the worst government in Nigeria, in the history of Nigeria. Upon that, people are busy giving him a word. For what reason? This whole thing is unacceptable. A contraction left by us for us by British government. The law was tampered with, the constitution was tampered with by the so-called Fulani soldiers after the war. A genocide, they claim it was a war, aided by British government and their propaganda with their BBC broadcasting news operation. We have to put it the way it is. And nobody cares about who is going down or not. I'm sick and tired of nonsense. British government is contributing in the problem we are passing through in Nigeria because they refuse to call their dog to order. Can you tell me what a gentleman like Mazinan the Kano committed? Because he is a freedom fighter, fighting for freedom of his people. If Nigeria is working well, he cannot come out and convince the people of their frustration that they should fight for their freedom. 
He did not drag anybody into it. He only made a simple opinion and they followed. And today, he's been hired in DSS custody, a custody who has never obeyed any court order, a custody of DSS who has continued to aid the terrorists to destroy Mulande in the name of trying to keep this contraction called Nigeria 1. Yeah, Buhari Opuma to tell you that they murdered almost a million people in Biafra war. That's what they call it. But the, what he has refused to tell you is that those people that they murdered are innocent citizens, innocent children of Biafra. It's not, it was not soldiers like them, but they were busy killing innocent people. As they were doing it, the British government with their useless eh, BBC Broadcasting Corporation were busy preaching propaganda in their radio, their TV, telling the world what who they supposed to know. Whereas everything they told the world was lies from pitch of hell. And they have refused to stop in this 21st century. And this is unacceptable. We will not tolerate it. They continue to give this United award. The question is, why are they giving my award? He has been the nightmare of innocent citizens of this country. No matter where you are coming from. You cannot continue to deceive yourself. It doesn't matter if you are Yoruba, uh, Oduduwa Republic, Biafra Republic, or Houses. The truth must be told. Buhari government, instead of them going around killing terrorists, what they did was go to the northern part of the country and bombarded innocent children of the northern, northern people. And to date, no ICC, the so-called International Criminal Court of Law, nobody in the world, not even the so-called United Nations who claim they believe in human rights, has asked Buhari government, why did you bombard it? Not even Amnesty International, why did you bombard innocent children of the north instead of going after the so-called terrorists? Of Janjaweed. And some people are busy giving an award somewhere. A man who has refused to obey court order from one to two, from two to three, from three to four, several court orders, this man has refused to obey. When the court give order, read it, this man will disobey it. He will call his useless Malami. Abu Salamu Malami, another terrorist from Pit of Hell. He will call him because he feels them in different positions. In this country today, you can see a terrorist yeah, being your yeah, so-called uh, 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 communi communication minister who happens to be Patani. He was once a commissioner in Nije. All of a sudden, he is now a communication minister in Nigeria. What the hell are we talking about? We must put Buhari in check. He told you that he's want to give you a good thing to remember as his living office in May. After the atrocities he committed against innocent people of this country. What did Buhari do? He entered the British government and the APC government to rig election of Nigeria. The presidency election. They kept the so-called beaver's machine in the silent mode. They thought it off. While others was moving smoothly, the presidential election was not moving. This is our hand dog of Buhari, the inek of inek chairman uh, Yakubu, and uh, the so-called British government because they want to continue to keep you down. They don't want a government that will come in to make things better or to destroy this so-called uh, atrocious politicians. Let me put it that way. A government who has continued to disobey court orders, none the kind of was kidnapped by them. My brothers and sisters, can, can a government become kidnapper? And they go around telling those who are kidnapped to stop. Whereas well, they are the worst kidnapper in the world, Nigerian government. They became kidnapped overnight. They kidnapped. This is Buhari, the same man that kidnapped somebody from Britain. 
In year 1980, something or sort. And he was, the, he, they were captured. That was the luck the man got. The same Buhari has repeated it again by going all the way from Kenya with the help of the same British government and the Kenya government to kidnap a, a man, a British citizen who has not done anything, who has not carried gun, ammunition against the government. Rather, he is just a freedom fighter fighting for the freedom, his right, and the right of his people. Something that is in Shira United Nations Charter and to date, United Nations has not done anything about it. They go around talking rubbish and they expect me to respect such people. Go forbid. Enough is enough. They gave press conference. They told Nigerian government to list Nam the Kano. This is four months after the date expired. Notwithstanding that the court of appeal told these same people to release him unconditionally and for him to be paid compensation for the atrocities they committed against him, the beating, the torture, the human treatment, man in humanity to man, what they did to him in Kenya before bringing him back to Nigeria, all those things was not obeyed. And Buhari continued to parade himself as a president who has done well. And the United Nations allows him to come to the United Nations to give press conference here and there. They have refused to ask him so many interesting questions. Mr. Man, what makes you think you are a president? What is it that why is it that you don't obey court orders, you don't obey the rules of law? And so why should you be a president? Rather, they are busy offering him different awards in the different country. When you see countries that are busy and corrupt it's not difficult to detect united nation is corrupt they are corrupt british are corrupt government are corrupt the so-called amnesty international are corrupt the eu are corrupt so far as they continue to give this man privileges i will always regard them as corrupt entity There's no place you can see. Look at our money being gunned with machine. You can see somewhere in the European land. You will see we are the bunch of our money gunned into pieces. These are the money that Nigerians are looking for. They are looking for even their own money. They suffer so hard to make, to struggle. Some of them are farmers. Some of them are barrel pushers. Why the government, both in the Senate House, continue to receive not less than 600 guided million a year, apart from the bribe that the frustration, the so called presidency of the governors receiving billions, and upon that they have refused to allow the innocent Nigerians to enjoy their hard work. The bank is in their money, their own money, their own sweat. And you expect people like me to keep quiet? You are a madman. I don't give a damn. I prefer to be a king, a lion in the jungle, than to be a slave in the city. And this is how it is. Anybody who is promoting this government is nothing but corrupt. Until the day they free mass and the Kano whom the court of law has freed. In a country where you don't obey court orders, you don't obey court visit, but you expect the people of Nigeria to obey the law, that means you are taking yourself as above the law. And such country should not exist. Free man's name the canon now before it's too late. And those supporting you, those behind you, with their behavior and everything we know, Forget about that United Nations is going around giving press conference. What have they done after that? What about the EU? What about the Amnesty International? Is this the same EU that came to Nigeria? To inspect, to, to inspect election? What, what did they do about it? Even after the whole rigging and the whole, ma, the whole massacre on the day of election? The whole torture? The whole attack? It's only in Nigeria that things like this happen. It doesn't happen like that in any other African country. Enough is enough. I think I've come to the end of this news. I will be saying my mind in this episode.
Remember, bless us and share this. Cheers. <laughs>